Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the Reverend Basil Clark, parish priest at Our Lady of Loreto and St Michael Catholic Church in Musselburgh. Presiding officer, last month I attended a commemoration of the Holodomor, the murder of, by starvation of up to 10 million Ukrainians by Joseph Stalin. This was a profoundly moving event. The ethnic Ukrainian community is of course proud of its roots and its traditions, but proud too to be Scottish. It's easy to forget that this group was the asylum seekers of the 1940s. Yet here they have made their home, now Ukrainian Scots, some even wearing the Ukrainian tartan, identity maintained, integration achieved. In 2018, the Scottish Catholic community celebrates 100 years of collaboration with the UK and Scottish governments in the provision of education for its children. While that provision has not been without its critics in every decade of that century, what it has achieved, and in particular for the Irish majority within the Scottish Catholic community, is a means of maintaining a sense of ethnic identity, even what today the religious component is largely ignored. However, I would propose that precisely because this was provided and supported by the state, it has also acted as a facilitator of integration. Diversity within unity and integration while allowing for a strong sense of identity is no mean achievement. That it has been largely achieved for the Scottish-Irish should be acknowledged. Acknowledged remembering the fact that in 1918, Irish Catholics were treated at best with suspicion and where discrimination was commonly accepted and violence possible. That sense of Scottish-Irish identity was brought home to me when two of my parish teenagers turned up in Lourdes wearing kilts made from the Galhuli tartan. Identity maintained, integration achieved. Should it be any surprise to us that it is the traditions of the Gaels, themselves a minority once treated with contempt, which has become an integrating catalyst. The minority culture of the Highlander in the end was shared with the Lowland Scot, forging a sense of common identity. Scotland should not be frightened of outsiders. They find their place. She should not be suspicious of ethnic religious diversity. Rather, she should, and in time will, weave it into a new cloth. Things may be tense at times, but she has a self-confident culture which has its own strong roots, capable of adapting to, as well as molding the newcomer. The genius of our common identity is that it is made to be an open weave. There is always room for a new color. 